15,423. That is the number of people diagnosed with HIV in Florida from the year 2010 to 2012. And it's going up right now. Unfortunately, the truth is that the rate of infection is much higher. HIV is transmitted every day, and most who have it don't even know it. HIV is an invisible killer, one that insidiously ravages the lives of the people it affects. Symptoms don't develop until many years later, and by that time, they have already potentially spread the virus to others. Currently, there is no cure for HIV. Several medicines and cocktails have been developed to help stem the tide, but ultimately, there is little that can be done to stop the inexorable progression into a more deadly condition. Autoimmune Deficiency Syndrome, or AIDS, is the devastating end-stage life cycle of the HIV virus. AIDS is also incurable and ultimately claims the lives of those it affects. Currently, more than 1.1 million people in the United States are living with HIV. In 2011 alone, 49,273 individuals were diagnosed. I'm Dr. Hector Quinones. I am currently a professor here in health education um, and in fact, um, HIV AIDS um, has been part of my expertise since I became a um, health educator in Puerto Rico where I worked with the SCD control program for about five years. Do you think we as a country could be doing more to educate people of HIV and its transmission? Oh, definitely, yes. The problem with that is that the HIV um, education, it's linked to the sexual education in general, and sex education in general is linked to the value system in a particular community. So for example, in the conservative areas of the United States, um, the government is not even allowed to, to do certain uh, sex education um, projects, while in the most liberal areas of the United States, then they can be more comprehensive. Okay. So then, um, depending on the value system of the, of the community, then there's more sex ed, more HIV sex education, or less. And um, for example, in the large metro areas like New York, California, and even Miami, where those are the major centers of HIV AIDS cases right now, then the sex education, HIV education, is a little bit more comprehensive. But in the conservative areas, uh, like uh, the Midwest, um, it's not as comprehensive. Okay. So, so we are doing what the community allows to do, mm -hmm. because we need to take the input of the community into that. We can definitely do more, definitely. But, you know, it, it, the, the input of the community is always important. HIV is spread through a number of various methods, including unprotected sex, intravenous drug use, and in some rare cases, blood transfusions. An HIV positive person would have traces of the virus in the blood, semen, vaginal secretions, and breast milk. Do you think that because Florida is the second highest state in HIV positive diagnoses, that we as a state are not doing all we can to educate people about HIV? Could be, but I wouldn't say education is the only reason. It could be lack of access to health care. It could be that certain subpopulations or even subcultures within Florida, since Florida is so diverse, are harder to reach than in other states. Mm -hmm. Like, for example, here we have some people who do not speak English. And in Florida in general, we have a lot of bi bilingual education of all sorts, including sex ed and HIV, but it could be that some of them cannot even read, I'm not you. sure. So, you know, it, it could be education, it could be values, it could be traditions, it could be diversity, it could be um, other reasons um, other than that we don't do it. 
One proposed method is needle programs. Government regulation would allow clean, free needles to those who need them. Currently, Florida does not have a needle distribution program. According to avert.org, as of 2009, there were only 184 needle exchange programs in the United States, DC and Puerto Rico included. Florida needs needle exchange programs in order to make the dirty process of intravenous drug use a little cleaner. In order to do this, we need funding for these programs. It costs roughly $25 for a box of only 100 needles. Lots of Florida citizens do not want raised taxes in order to help destitute drug users. The United States is already trillions of dollars in debt. Therefore, the best way to accrue funds is through donation and HIV AIDS programs such as Florida Health and UN AIDS. HIV is a deadly epidemic, one that has been sweeping across our nation since 1959. While currently there is no cure, there are steps that involved communities can take to help control the damage and reduce the rate of infection. No one wants to see their son or daughter sick. And ultimately, it is up to us to create a brighter future for everyone.